Hey guys, this is Nerf Boy Productions here, and today I'm here with a super special review. This is a review of the new uh, main gun released from the Endstrike Elite line. This is the new Nerf Elite Hailfire. Now this gun was not to be released until September 8th. It is August 30th as I speak and stand here. I believe it's August 30th. Uh, no, it is the 29th. Sorry about that. So, August 29th, released was supposed to be released September 8th. I know this video is kind of late, guys, but hey, technically it's early. So uh, here's the Hailfire. Um, let's get over everything you get that comes with the uh, blaster itself. You get four of these half see-through, half clear new Elite clips, which are, I think are pretty cool. Um, and then you get uh, 20, so you get four of those, sorry. Which are all right now loaded into the uh, Hailfire. Three, four. So, uh, yeah, you get all those. And then you get, each one right now is loaded with six, uh, the new, six of the new uh, Elite Streamlines, Streamline Darts, and uh, so six times four, 24. You get 24 of these new uh, Elite Darts, and then four of the new Elite Clips, which are the exact same, and they're six Dart Clips, by the way. And uh, so they're the exact same, just half clear, half solid. And then, of course, the new guards. So once you have all that, and then obviously you get the basic blaster. So now let's go over everything the blaster comes with, uh, or has on it. Sorry. Um, so actually, when you first when you get it, these t this shell this shell piece here is two pieces. This one and this one, and the handle. Handle's really easy to assemble. Click, click, and you just click it together in two parts. One piece is just the side, and the other piece is the side with the rod sticking out, and you just clip them together on the thing. But then, the uh, shell's really hard to put in. There's two locks down in the center, I'll try and show you. There, and there. And then there's two more here, and here. Those are the, lock, the locking pins that, uh, not really pins, but locking bits that uh, hold in the shell. Now when you get it in, when you uh, put it in first, before it clicks in, there's these, as you can see, the two halves of the shell, they slide into these slots, with the with the uh, pieces on the shell, and there's only one way to go. You'll really easily figure out how to put them in, but once you do, it's really hard to click them on because Nerf on the instructions just says slide it in and clip it down. Well, that's kind of confusing. It took me a long time to uh, figure out how to do this. But what you do is you just I was trying to push on these to just like lock them down. You actually pick push on those uh, ones I showed you earlier, those locks. So once you have that in, your blaster is ready, functional, and ready to fire. So now let's go over everything it comes with. Or not comes with, has on it, sorry. Has two tactical rails, one on the top, one on the bottom. One thing I want to say about the top tactical rail, this handle's in the way of putting any scope, and you can't even aim through the handle because it's hard to one hand wield with all the clips in it, it gets very heavy, and your hand needs to be there to rotate the uh, clip mechanism. So, yeah. Uh, so it's got the top one and the bottom one, but it's still good for other things. And the bottom one's good for lasers and all that, you know, tactical rails. And then you have the uh, access jam door at the top, which is see-through, which I think is really cool, transparent, uh, because it just looks cool. I mean, I'm still going to do a lock removal on that jam door, but I mean, it, would, it still looks cool because the see through, you can see the darts going doom, 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 firing. It's really cool, I'll show you. So that looks really awesome. So then uh, also, you have the uh, battery compartment, which is at the back, held in by two Phillips screws. Undo that, put in four double A's, and uh, screw it back in. There you go. And the two triggers, which is all same for all semi automatic blasters, if you don't know. Top one, the big one, or the main one, really won't fire unless the uh, bottom trigger is held down. When it is, you can then fire. And the bottom trigger is what revs two flywheels up in here that just spin and really, really fast. And when the dart touches them, sends the dart flying. So, that's how those triggers work. And then basically, uh, you have the main part, the eight clip, uh, the eight clip Lazy Susan thing. Awesome thing. So, uh, as you can tell, it holds eight clips, you get four. You can also buy, so you get the four, which is still cool because you can put in the four, but then you can buy a Hailfire upgrade kit, which just gets you the other four and other 24 
darts and clips. So uh, you can get that also if you really want. But I mean, I already have other clips and elite darts, so I won't be needing that, sorry. Oh, sorry, just had dinner and I find after food, it kind of makes me, I don't know, burp. <laughs> so let's go over how this works. Take a clip, you load the darts out facing the gun like you always would. So take, make sure the darts are facing out through the barrel. And uh, you can see it's just like a normal clip, except a bit more exposed. Slide it in. There you go. This clip, I can pick up the gun by. Will not come out, which is really nice. I was really worried that the clips might fall. They're not going anywhere. And also, I just want to let you know, I'm sorry if you saw the little change. My battery just ran out of power. I had to go quickly grab another one and put it back in the camera. So I'm sorry about that little change if my voice was cut or something, but anyway, uh, so yeah, where was it? Yes, this clip will not come out, which is pretty cool. Now, you just can load in the others the exact same, which I'm doing right now. And once they're all loaded in, you can see it's, you want to shape it like a plus if you're using all four. Obviously, if you're using all eight, you can just fill them all, but otherwise, you want it like a plus, all right? You never, do not, do not, do not do this. Which I'm showing you right now in a sec. Never ever do this. And I was, I was, I'll tell you why in a sec, but don't do this, okay? And then just like that. You don't want to do that because uh, what it actually does is I'll show you guys that I was trying to do a range test and all of a sudden I tried it and then they were getting really, this, this uh, Hellfire was getting really, really terrible ranges. I was wondering why, and I realized that with all these clips, you can see this clip is sagging and it's not aligned. It's sagging like this, which means the darts, when they're being fired, are like this. They bounce off the barrel and then go back and then bounce through and shoot out, which really decreases the thing. Like, I'm just holding it completely straight and you can see it's, it's off. But then, if we put them, and that's because the space, because it's heavier to one side, because it's, the clips aren't organized. But all the clips weigh the exact same when they're all full. So now, it's completely aligned, which is really good. And then, so make sure you always even the weight underneath. That's one thing I wanted to mention. Now, I will just show you guys how it shoots. Make sure the, uh, it's always gonna shoot when the clips lined up with the barrel. So as you can see now, it's not lined up, so it's not going to shoot. But now that the clip is aligned, it will now shoot. I don't know if you guys saw that on my camera, but it definitely shot. I'll go get the dart. Here it is. As you can see, it shot. So, yeah. I really love this gun for 50 bucks, Canadian, cheaper American, I think it's like 45 or something. Definitely recommend you pick this up, best gun out of the Elite series. Also, I'm really excited to get a stockade video out. I really love the barricade, so uh, I'll be sure to get the stockade and uh, keep an eye out on that. But for right now, I really hope you guys enjoyed my review on the Nerf Elite and Strike Elite Hailfire. This was Nerf Boy Productions, as always, signing out.